I'm here to help you tell the difference between the Baltics. You're welcome. So how do you know that you end up in the Baltics? You will see a lot of very open areas with fields and grass and flowers. And you will see unpaved roads with the woods going along them and the area will be like semi-cold most of the time. It won't look very warm. It's you clearly not in the warmer parts of Europe. And some parts of at least Estonia will remind you of Finland. But this is kind of what it looks like most of the time. Just general, pretty looking nothingness. <laughs> That's uh, it's nothingness. So what do these countries have in common? First of all, you will see diagonal support poles holding the poles up a lot of the time. You can see one over here, there's one there, and as well you can see one here. This is Latvia though, but you will see in all three of them. All of these countries will have the aerial or small antenna visible on their car, just like this one has here. Just like this, all three of them will have that. All three of these countries will have a fold on the back of their triangular signs, just like this one has. Uh, this one is Estonia, it's slightly different than the other two, but it will be a fold on all three of them. Many countries lack these, so it's a good way to recognize the Baltic countries. I'll admit that this one is a little bit weird, uh, but all three of these countries will often have like a jagged blur on the car. If you don't understand what I mean, look at this. You can see this. It's kind of jagged. It's not usually the countries have a, like a uniform blur. It's it's a blur, like a normal blur, it blurs the entire car, like in a circle. But this one is a little bit more jagged, more shaped, and most countries don't really have that. Uh, this is very common in the Baltics. I also want to mention that both Latvia and Estonia have uh, Gen 4. Gen 4 is the camera that will show up very saturated, very pretty. It's the latest generation camera that Google has. Uh, Lithuania does not have that at the moment, but it's they will most likely get it soon, so uh, be careful about that. That's why I'm not showing it. So all three of these countries will have aerated roofs, which uh, look like this. It's kind of grey, silver, nothing much interesting about it. But they will almost always face the road, they tend to do that. It's quite common that they face the road in this way. If we were to go into the specifics of how to tell these three countries apart, this is a dirt road in Estonia. So what makes this special? It's the fact that it's very, very narrow. It will only fit one car. I know that sounds weird, but keep that in mind that this road, it looks like it will only fit one car. This is us. Like we're almost covering the entirety of it. If we were to face another person here, it would suck. One car. Here's another example of a narrow Estonian road in asphalt instead of uh, dirt roads, because dirt road, I, I, maybe it's not specific enough. But I wanted to show you that it's very common to have narrow roads in Estonia. But honestly, don't get stuck on the fact that Estonia has narrow roads, because they can be wide. I'll show you an example of that. Here's a wide Estonian road. That would fit two cars instead of one. but. It's good to keep in mind that narrow roads does not always mean Estonia. Sometimes Estonia like to fit two cars in one lane, okay? <laughs> it's kinda handy when you can. <laughs> when I make these videos, I like to point out how much Alok has helped me in the making of these videos. And uh, this is no exception. And he said that uh, there's been some discussions whether or not Estonia has a specific type of asphalt, which is this one. This very light looking asphalt that does not seem to show up in the other countries, but it's not confirmed. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure and neither is Alok, but thank you Alok for pointing that out. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. I don't tell you that enough. Estonia will also sometimes have uh, dashed lines along the roads, just like you can see here. This, this specific uh, location is a little bit weird because it looks like they have done it twice, uh, which is not always the case. And the, they are similar to the ones that you can find in Sweden, for example. However, if we were to trust the 
narrow road meta of Estonia. Latvia likes to have wide roads that would fit two cars. So if you find a dirt road in the middle of nowhere and the road looks like it would fit two cars, odds is that it's Latvia. But if it looks like it will fit one car, it's probably Estonia. I know this sounds extremely weird, but it's uh, it saved me a couple of times when doing uh, duels. Someone once made this guide and I absolutely love them for it. Uh, it's a very good way to tell the countries apart if you understand what it means, which I personally did not do the first time I saw this. The images, uh, sure, they kind of made sense in my head, but I needed to see it in person. Or not, not in person, I needed to see it on Google Maps. Uh, so I'll show you um, what it looks like. This is an Estonian one. As you will see, it will go along the road. Apparently the word for this is perpendicular to the road. It will be perpendicular to the road. If you understand what that means, that's what it is, okay? It looks like this. This is a Latvian one. It is parallel to the road. It is facing the road. Kind of the opposite for what you just saw in the Estonian one. And this is a Lithuanian one. It's in a 45 degree angle towards the road, like this. And there will be two on each side, going like this. Or like this. If that makes sense. And it's oftentimes green, in my experience, which I haven't seen in the other two. Triangular signs are great in the Baltics. And uh, in uh, Estonia, the red line will touch the edges. In Latvia, they would be shonk. The lines would be considerably thicker than the other uh, than the other countries. Okay. In Lithuania, there would be a white line around it. Okay. In Estonia, it would touch the edges. In Latvia, it would be shonk. And in Lithuania, there would be a white line. However, in Lithuania, I noticed that sometimes there is not a white line around it. So be careful about that. This is one example when I noticed there was no white line around it. Someone made a guide of this as well, and here you can see clearly where you have the Estonian one, the Latvian one, and the Lithuanian one next to each other. So it becomes a lot more clearer that the Latvian one is thicker, and you can see the line around the Lithuanian one compared to the Estonian one. When you're around the fields of the Baltic countries, you will often come across bus stops. And they can actually help you, because in Latvia, the bus stops will have five windows instead of four that they have in both Estonia and Lithuania. So if you go, if you end up in the Baltic countries and you see a bus stop with five windows instead of four, you know for sure that you've ended up in Latvia. Here's an Estonian one just to compare. Uh, as you can see, there are four windows on this bus stop. I told you before that the triangular signs are really good when it comes to recognizing which one of these countries you've ended up in. Even the back of the sign can help you. And in Estonia, you will see this tiny little flap on the back of it. Only Estonia has this. They all will have folded back sides. But the Estonia one is slightly different. I'll compare it to a Latvian one. Here's a Latvian one. As you can see, there is a fold on the back, but it doesn't really have the flaps that the Estonian ones have. So there will be no flaps but you will still see a fold, which is quite rare around the world. Okay, how do you tell the languages apart? So Latvian and Lithuanian will look quite similar. Uh, Estonian is a completely different language, so don't worry about that. Uh, Latvian has a lot of lines above their vowels, a lot of them. While Lithuanian will have a lot of little snarkles on the other side of them. And that these are unique letters to each of these two languages. So try to memorize this to the best of your abilities. But I try to remember that Latvian has a lot of lines above and Lithuania has a lot of lines below. However, both of these uh, languages will have a U with a line above it. Estonian looks a lot like Finnish and it can be very easy to uh, mistake the countries for each other based on that considering that the fact considering the fact that both countries have very similar uh, landscape and nature but this is an example of Estonian written on this sign but to make it a little bit easier when it comes to distinguishing it from Finland you can look at street signs so this word right here 
means street in Estonian. In Finland, it will end with T-I-E instead of T-E-E. -E. So if you see this, you know it's Estonia, okay? So in Latvia, Iela means street, as you can see right here. In Lithuania, a lot of words will end with A-I. This is a bad font, but it does end with A-I. And that's very common for a lot of words in uh, Lithuania, except for when I'm trying to find them <laughs> for this video. Since this used to mess me up when I first started playing uh, GeoGuessr, I want to mention that uh, Liotuvos, I don't know how to pronounce that, is for Lithuania, not Latvia, okay? <laughs> it's very good to know because I have messed that up before. Here's a good guide that stole of geotips. <laughs> they will show the bollards of the countries and a bunch of other stuff that's pretty good. In Estonia you will find rounded bollards compared to the Latvian ones that are flat, very thin planks. That makes them clearly different from each other. And the Lithuanian one will have an orange reflector, even though it kind of looks a little bit red here, it is orange. Here you can also see the bus stops that I mentioned earlier. Here you can see that there are five windows on the Latvian one compared to the four ones on both Estonia and Lithuanian. Here is also where I noticed another good thing well, that will help you remember. Is that the Latvian crosswalk also have five lines. So five windows, five lines. While the other two here only have three. And the person will also face the different direction. Here are the poles of these three countries and they help me personally a lot when it comes to telling the countries apart. Especially the Latvian one that's very distinct with its hooks right here. Here you have the little bit more crucifix looking Lithuanian one. Here is the Estonian one. So they're very distinct, all three of them. And they are very good because oftentimes when you end up in the Baltic countries you're in the middle of nowhere absolutely nowhere that's when it's really good to be able to look in the distance and see if you can find these telephone poles i mean electrical poles <laughs> so what about the landscape they're damn similar okay they are very similar uh, so how do you tell them apart this is a very estonian looking landscape and the reason for that is that you will see a lot of white flowers along the roads here and you will see birch trees sometimes in clusters and you will definitely find more birch trees in Estonia compared to the other two countries since it's way more north. The forests will also be thicker and closer to the road. A strange thing that can happen in Estonia is that there can almost be a green tint covering the screen as you can see in this location. It's a bit strange and it only happens here. I don't know why it happens but it's surprisingly helpful that if you get a green tint, you know it's Estonia. And sometimes there will be this slight darkness at the top. As you can see here, it's going darker as you go up. And you still also have a green tint covering the screen. I mean, use what you can. I'm not judging. Don't kill the messenger. <laughs> so here you have a Latvian landscape. Uh, there's not much to say about it, except that it's very grassy. You'll see a lot of grass in in Latvia and you will see a lot of woods as well but mostly grass there will be a lot of grass so in Lithuania you are way less likely to find birch trees uh, which are the white trees that I showed you and there will be a lot more grass around the roads compared to Estonia and the forests will be a lot less dense as you can see they're kind of shallow or how to put it and there will be very few flowers Another thing unique for Lithuania is uh, the fact that they will have a lot of random blurs covering areas of the map. For example here it's just blurred some random stuff. Usually Google would blur like license plates or and sometimes faces of people. Uh, Lithuania just tend to blur everything. I also noticed this location where there's a lot of random blurs. You see it here and here. And here, 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 here. I, I, I don't know why that happens. It's <laughs> it's a Lithuanian thing. 
Lithuania will also have a lot of agricultural fields uh, because it's the most southern country, all of these three. And uh, so you will see a lot of fields with crops and stuff and uh, openness. There's a lot of openness here. So if you see a lot of open agricultural fields, uh, the odds are it's Lithuania. So uh, guardrails. These are guardrails. In Estonia, they won't have reflectors on the inside of them, which they will have in both Latvia and Lithuania. And they will look different in the other two as well. In Latvia, you will have red ones, red reflectors. So in Estonia, you have none. In Latvia, they will be red on one side and white on the other. Here is the white side of a Latvian reflector. So keep that in mind. Uh, in Estonia, no reflectors at all whatsoever, no reflectors at all. And in Latvia, they will be red on one side, white on the other. In Lithuania, they will be orange. I actually think this is uh, yellow. But my sources say orange, so let's say orange. You decide. In Estonia, when someone is a new driver, you will find a little leaf in the car. That will be very visible. I don't know what that part of the car is called, but you will find a leaf there. For a new driver, you get a leaf. In Lithuania, the police cars will have a green stripe around them. I was also told that if you look at the code here on the side of the car, that you can't really see that well on this specific one, that the first letter will be able to tell you which region in uh, Lithuania you've ended up in. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a car that showed that that well, and I decided to uh, kill my darlings and not include that. I just wanted to say that so you know. If you wanna investigate further. I literally had no other good way of writing this down, so you're gonna have to look at my Google Docs. But the country codes, if you manage to find a phone number... So Estonia will have uh, 372, Latvia will have uh, 371, and Lithuania will have 370. This is all frustrating considering the order of the countries. But this is how things are, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I actually didn't realize how much this frustrated me until now. Oh my god. So that's it. Thank you for watching. It's really fun to make these videos and be able to help people. Be able to uh, get better at GeoGuessr and learn. And uh, if you're a country nerd like me, then, uh, then I hope you will enjoy this video. Uh, so please give it a like. Please give it a follow. I am a small channel of 395 followers. I would really like to meet some new people and friends and people. Please give it a thumbs up and a share and uh, please comment if there's anything I missed or if there's anything you want me to uh, do next. I would really appreciate that. So thank you and uh, take care. Bye!